What's up guys? Today I figured I'd do a little video since uh, YouTube doesn't have any uh, videos on this and if anybody's having troubles out there um, you know this information might help you. So we got two motors and uh, their homes, uh, hobbies, they're crawl masters. So I ordered one that is reversed so it means it's gonna rotate a normal motor rotates counterclockwise so unfortunately I didn't want to have to go through this because it's been decades since I even messed with this shit but when you want a motor to run in reverse mode you want it to run clockwise so if you look at the end bell this is our end bell here and uh, he sent me two motors that are turning counterclockwise and these happen to be clodock axles and some refer to them as MOAs so one has to run counterclockwise the other one has to run clockwise for both wheels to spin forward and backward so what you do is what I already did on this one here is you turn the end bell 180 degrees so he has uh, timing marks and if you're running advanced timing uh, you'd, on your normal rotation you'd have to retard the reverse motor so these are just you know neutral they're set to zero so if you take a look at both motors I already reversed that one so that one is rotating clockwise if you hold the motor this way this is gonna go counterclockwise if you hold the motor this way this one's gonna go clockwise so the way to obtain this and I seen some uh, you know people saying I'll oh, just reverse the leads no that's not a very good way to do it so you'll notice, uh, and it's pretty hard for me to see here, but you got notches. Being this is the uh, normal rotation one, counterclockwise. Take note to that notch, it's set at zero. Now if we flip the end bell, or the motor end for end, you'll see the same four notches. So this notch right here has to you have to undo this screw and this screw and really you gotta watch right there that notch here lines up with this one not this one over here so what we have to do is turn this whole end bell this part has to be on top this part has to be on bottom and you take this notch and you line it up with zero degrees right there now they do sell motor jigs where you fit them in and I guess being that this has uh, you know a sticker on and then another sticker on it doesn't want to fit in my motor jig so if um, you don't have markings timing markings like such what you can do before you disassemble them and it's very important that you do it just get a scribe and scribe a line on your end bell and your motor housing here and then rotate it and then scribe a line on the end bell here and here you undo two of the screws and then you put this end up here and this end down here and just line your scribe marks up and uh, actually you could do one scribe mark so just no you'd have to do two so anyway that's the way you reverse the rotation on a motor don't just flip-flop the leads 